Hey, what's up there guys? It's your boy, Daryl, AKA D-Ball, here bring you another video from the Cardaholics. Because here at the Cardaholics, it's not only a passion, it's an obsession. And the reason for this video today is to show off some of my recent pickups that I've uh, added to my collection uh, slash investment, if you want to call it that. Um, so I'm gonna do a little brief video on some pickups, um, some things that I've been looking at and kind of keying in, focusing on. Some of which you already see here. We've got Hoops Premium Stock variations, a uh, bunch of LeBron guys. I've been buying a bunch of LeBron recently, and um, you know I'm a Lakers fan. Um, my favorite players growing up, Kobe and MJ. I, I, LeBron, he, he's a great player. Um, he's not my guy. He's not a guy that I'm a big fan of. Um, but, you know, he's a Hall of Famer. He's going to be probably considered by some, not me, but by some, uh, as the greatest player of all time. So I've been really investing in a lot of his stuff, especially stuff with him pictured in a Lakers uniform. Uh, I've got something here in the Cleveland Cavs. So that's what I've been focused on. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, as you guys can see here, show off this first one here. This is the Hoops premium stock this is the mojo parallel um, these cards here that I'm showing off uh, they are in my opinion PSA uh, BGS worthy I really do think these are gonna grade out 9.5 10 PSA so these I will be submitting now when I get them back who knows 2022 2023 maybe <laughs> who knows um, but yeah this one is a little bit more rare than the silver base uh, very happy about this here. This is the Disco. Sorry, get that uh, get that glare out of the way. But this is the Disco Purple, um, and then we've got the Base Silver. The Silver Parallels tend to be the most popular, really, parallels that you get from a, a lot of the Panini products. And uh, this one here is the hollow optic t minus i really did like this insert guys um optic mosaic and uh hoops premium soccer my three favorite product products of 2019 2020 season um uh, got the green purple base and uh, now the uh hollow and the other pickup that i'm very proud of is this one here this is top hobby master now this is from the uh, 2006 2007 campaign and uh, I got this at a really good deal guys uh, this this set and just tops inserts in general they're they're slowly gaining steam uh, pick this one up while you can guys I really do think this card is gonna is gonna really appreciate over time so I really would recommend uh, investing in that one in particular if you're on a budget and you want something that's really inexpensive but it's going to hold its value uh, long term down the road. I really do think that Hobby Masters insert is the way to go. Tops in general uh, is a solid investment. It's really appreciated. I really do wish they would bring back their uh, basketball and football license. But I digress. Alright, so we've got some uh, 2021 stuff. I'll save that for the end. And I'll show off a couple of other things here. Again guys, I'm going to be very brief. Go through this pretty video pretty quickly. Uh, let's see, we've got Rock and Fire Kobe, 97, 98 Kobe, second year. Uh, any second year stuff you can get, please pick it up while you can. Uh, we've got another optic here, Winter Stays, LeBron James. Again, guys, uh, Hoops uh, Premium Stock is becoming my favorite product to collect slash invest in. Uh, right now at this point, I'm an investor, guys. I'm not a, I, like I said, I'm not a big LeBron fan. Uh, we've got a, another one here, another parallel. This is the Laser. This is a uh, hanger pack exclusive. Uh, the mojo is the blaster. The silver is pretty much in every fat pack, blaster, uh, hanger, you name it. This is a uh, uh, blaster exclusive as well. Uh, we've got a, another mojo here. So yeah, guys, I've been I've been I've been buying these in droves. Another silver here. Um, really, really been really investing in a lot of these cards. This now's the time you really want to pick up these these hoops premium stock. It's premier year, um, just like Optic 2016. How it's now appreciating, and you know, obviously, you guys are aware of 2012 Prism and 
you know, the, the how it's, the values of, on that product have skyrocketed. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be to the level of 2012 Prism, because 2012 Prism was really short printed. But uh, premier year products really do appreciate over time. So, you know, in my opinion, this is a safe investment for you guys if you're, you're looking to invest. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, second year EXL. We've got a couple of second year, set that down there, uh, SPX LeBron James base cards. Again, nothing crazy base cards, but guys, this... Uh, this particular uh, set is really flying under the radar, and I'm, I'm really surprised. It is a tough grade. Um, there aren't a lot. I checked the pop reports. I want to say there are less than 20 that are graded PSA 10. Uh, these I will submit. I don't think these are going to get uh, any 10s, of course. Uh, maybe a 9 here or there, mostly 8s. But again, really solid investment, really inexpensive. If you're looking for an expensive premium product, second year LeBron base card, uh, Look no further than the SPX. Just uh, uh, if you're buying online, just know that these cards are very rough when it comes to condition. So that's my only advice for you there. Um, and then I've got uh, third year SPX here. Um, so yeah, yes, third year LeBron's third year with the caps. Nothing, you know, nothing special base, but I got it really, 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 really at a good price. So I'm happy about that. Uh, this one here that's in the uh, the Ultra Pro. This one I will submit to PSA immediately. I really do think this one will... Uh, I'll zoom in and kind of show you guys the condition. I think this one here will grade out a, a 9 at least. I uh, doubt a 10, but I definitely think a 9. Um, the uh, other one here that I've gotten that I'm pretty confident will grade a 10. Uh, definite 9, maybe 10. Is Optic Court Kings. Um, not the hollow. Just the regular garden variety base, but guys, this is Premier Year Optic 2016-2017. This is kind of the low-hanging fruit, the, the stuff that, you know, it's safe investments, it's inexpensive. You can pick this up, um, and, you know, over time, this, will, this set will appreciate very well because it's first year Optic, and um, it's LeBron James, of course, again. First ballot Hall of Famer. All right, moving along. Uh, my favorite player, my current favorite NBA player, Ben Simmons. I've got another Hoops Premium Stock uh, Disco Purple. Sorry about that, guys. Camera. Um, nice pickup. Very inexpensive. Um, ben Simmons is uh, hes starting to pick up steam. He's starting to have a, a, a really good uh, finish to the regular season. He started off really rough. Um, picked up his scoring. Philadelphia Sixers, they... Uh, they look to, to be the team to beat, although I think New Jersey is going to come out of the East. Uh, you never know. Uh, 90s inserts. 90s base, flare, Michael Jordan, another card that's tough grade, and another hardwood leaders. Uh, these two cards here are really picking up steam, guys. So um, get in on these while you can. Uh, really any 90s Jordan insert, regardless of the grade, it's a good investment. Uh, we have another one here. This is the Thunder, the last year of the, if you call, I guess if you will, Z4 series. 98-99 series. Uh, season, they had no rookies in this set. Um, really nice pickup, really beautiful card, guys. I, I really love this set. These, um, the cards that were numbered higher in the series they were seated one per pack and then the lower series numbers they were like two or three per pack so there was an interesting seating scheme that uh, skybox had in 98 when they came up with this product so it was really unique uh, this particular card is one per pack uh, it is a base card and uh you're going to see more of this in my next upcoming videos guys i've really made some uh some movements on picking up Dwayne wade cards he, first ballot Hall of Famer. His stuff is super inexpensive. Um, words got out, and people are really starting to invest more in his stuff, especially, uh, notably, his rookie and second year. And if you guys can't get the Topps Chrome LeBron, which is going for five figures now, you know, a couple of thousand dollars, you can get his uh, Chrome rookie card. Uh, this is finest second year uh, base card. Uh, really great shape. These will be uh, submitted for grading. I'm um, pretty confident in the grade I'll get on these. Again, just low-hanging fruit, super inexpensive, guys. I've I've been really just focusing on 
uh, really buying inexpensive, good um, investment type sports cards. Um, once I grade stuff and start selling a little bit more, then I'll get back into my high end uh, investing. But right now, I'm just really building a good foundation. Uh, we've got another second year optic, Trey Young. Really inexpensive right now. Trey Young is flying under the radar. This is the same class as Luka Doncic, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Uh, DeAndre Ayton and uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., who's about to probably make his debut in the next couple of days. Um, really inexpensive, centered really well. This is another great PSA candidate. Uh, and then I'm really big on this guy, Darius Garland for the Cavs. This is his rookie card. And uh, we've got a couple more before we finish the video. So we're almost at the home stretch. Set that aside. And then last but not least, the first of the 2020 cards. Uh, guys, I'm really not going to do a lot of pack hunting. And I'm going to wait for this product to cool off. I think uh, the LaMelo rookie card was going for about $100, $150. It's cooled off, cooled off since. Uh, I think this product is overpriced. I think a lot of it has to do with the demand right now. Wait. Wait on these cards, it will cool off. I've got these again. Nothing, nothing extravagant at all, guys. Just base cards. But it's uh, Zion Williamson's second year card. So, you know, guys, collectors, when they, um, when they can't really afford rookies, they go after the second year cards. So, you know, in addition to getting rookies, go for the second year stuff. And just, you know, a guy like him, well, I think he will have a good career. Um, set it set it aside wait and just you know over time it's gonna take a minute but it'll appreciate it if he uh, pans out and uh, very happy about these I've got some purple parallel uh, hoops base cards uh, great grading candidates these will get submitted as well and then uh, uh, rounding off got three more cards I'm gonna show off we've got LeBron base um, really looks to be a, a, a gem mint 10 in my opinion guys so this will get submitted again pop counts on this one I'm sure it'll be crazy um, but you know this is a definite 10 um, this purple parallel I picked up here as well and then last but not least Anthony Edwards I'm big on him in Minnesota he's uh, averaging nearly 20 a game I think he's gonna be an all-star uh, along with uh, LaMelo and uh, James Wiseman, the verdict's still out, but he's just not getting enough minutes uh, in Golden State. Uh, well, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, this is uh, going to be in my collection here. I have uh, another uh, Instagram page. My Instagram handle is uh, D-Ball Collection. So look me up. Please feel free to add. Um, guys, please feel free to give this video a like. Um, comments are greatly appreciated. We have an Instagram handle for the Cardaholics. It's uh, the underscore Cardaholics. So definitely uh, add, a, add us on there as well. Um, give us a like. Tell me what you think. You guys agree, disagree with the pickups that I got? What uh, some of the suggestions for other things I need to pick up? What, was, I, was I on the mark? Or, you know, give me some comments. Drop some likes, of course, if you don't mind. Likes are always appreciated. And uh, I'm going to be coming back with another Hoops break 2020 2021 i've got a couple of fat packs that video will be coming in about a week or so and then uh somewhere down the road me and uh, fredo are going to team up and we're going to do some more breaks so very excited about that again guys stay safe happy collecting happy investing d-ball for cardaholics out